Hey guys, what is up the new cubist here? Welcome to Let's Play Minecraft episode number three. So in the last episode, we completed this house. It looks pretty neat. I think it looks pretty dang good myself. Um, obviously, the back of the house is still kind of, well, it's not done yet, but we'll finish that in another episode. Today's episode, I wanted to do a nice mining episode. And the reason I wanted to do a nice mining episode is just because, well, if you did watch last episode, you're going to see something pretty cool. Um, we actually have a really nice cave. Um, one thing I do want to do is if I have any iron, I want to take it, but I don't think I do. So what I'm going to do is make a probably two uh, just stone pickaxes um, because I don't really want to make uh, or I don't want to use all of my good iron tools yet. Obviously, obviously, man, I can't speak. So funny story. I was actually waiting. It's my first day of class today. It's Monday. Um, I don't remember what what's the date today. The 13th of January. And I wait about an hour in the parking lot to get a good spot because I, I go to a commuter college. And, uh, you know, the class starts. You know, I, I walk in the classroom and this guy walks in. He's like, well, I'm not your professor. Um, your professor's actually stuck out of the country. So class is going to start next week. And I'm like, really? Well, that's great because I just waited an hour in the parking lot. So now I'm back home. Don't have class for another two hours. So I figure, you know what? Let's record. But yeah, funny little story just so that you guys have a little bit of background. You know about what what's going on in my life I really need to get sticks for torches before we get too far because I need to light things up and uh, it's kind of a necessity and one thing I want to do is add a little path down here maybe to my mine or something like that it's not optimal having one side of your house completely open but you know what for now I think it's gonna work we'll just take this and then we'll take this and then if I need more torches I can grab them but I don't foresee myself using more than 41 it really just depends yeah, it's getting dark, which is good. Going underground anyways where there's no sunlight. But yeah, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day whenever this gets uploaded. Um, I really, I'm really, i really happy this series is doing well. I guess you guys really just wanted to see vanilla, which I, I need to quit overcomplicating things. And man, this, this cave looks really fruitful as far as resources go. If you guys looked, um, not looked, if you watched the last episode, you saw that I kind of walked through it for a second just to find some andesite. And we actually saw a lot of resources, so that's really, really good. A stone pickaxe is kind of painful to mine with, but at the same time, we gotta do it, guys. We already have enough iron to make another iron pick, though, so maybe we'll maybe we'll make a furnace underground or something. Because I really don't want to use this forever. It's not optimal, but it does work. It is efficient to use stone tools to mine iron. But again, it's not optimal. It really isn't. But um, yeah. I really like vanilla Minecraft just because there's nothing I don't really know. Everything's kind of, except for bees, which is, that's something I do want to get into pretty soon because I want to have a greenhouse and I think we need to find an oak forest. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think the beehives will spawn in the oak forest, but I'm really not sure. So if I am wrong, let me know, but I'm going to be looking for an oak forest sometime pretty soon. I mean, I'm going to need some bees to make a farm that is really efficient, so... That's going to be a necessity. Let me finish mining this coal. Hold on. Man, there's a lot of coal in this hole. Oh, man, there's even more? I thought it was the end, but I guess not. I, I, see, I wanted to mine this all out, but look. Look how big this thing is. This is all from one, one measly pocket of coal. We have this giant hole now. Interesting. I'm going to use the iron just to speed this up because I really want to explore this big old um, hole down here. Let's see. Is there anything? No, see, that's where I was mining a little bit of... This is andesite rock. I'm not, I'm not going to get into it again. I, ca I can't memorize the stones, guys. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. Something about just, just the stones, they, they just get me. I can't memorize them. I don't know why. You'd think I'd be able to. What was that noise? Did you guys hear that? It sounded like a screaming, like a, like a, what? I've never heard that noise in my entire, in my entire time of playing Minecraft. I, that has to be a new noise. Please, someone tell me what that is. That was absolutely terrifying. And maybe I should have had a better tool. I only have... Well, it's okay. You know what? Wood, wood will work just just fine. I'm scared about that noise, though. It sounded like a screeching... It sounded like, kind of like a screeching banshee or like a, like a young child. I mean, what's the difference? Um, <laughs> I don't know what it was, but it was extremely loud. And it was kind of, kind of, uh, kind of terrifying. But yeah, this hole is huge. Look at this. And this is right outside our base. I had no idea it was there until I was building my house. And I walked around back and I'm like, oh man, there's a nice mining cave here. So we can make this into our own personal mine. I'll make it look really fancy and nice, I think. 
Maybe towards the end of the episode, though, when we get some better iron tools, which we have a few of. We already have 16 irons. So we really don't need to mine too much more. Um, some people say they like mining, or they like watching me mine. I really don't know. It just depends. Some people do, some people don't. So if that's not something you enjoy, you don't have to watch it. Um, but I'll try to make it as non-boring as I can. Again, it's just mining, so there's only so much I can do. Like cutting out big, giant coal pockets that no one wants to see someone mine. I don't want to mine them, but I know I'm going to need the coal. So that's that's the reasoning behind it. Well, like, like, watch this. See? Voila! It's gone. And in my inventory, where do you have over a stack of coal? So we should be good on coal for now. But I'm going to keep mining it. I'm going to keep grinding through it. I don't want to do it again, but I have to. I gotta do it for the fans and do it for. I I know I'm gonna need a lot of coal. I have some big plans for this series. I really want to get like one of those big, big worlds going. You see those big YouTubers, you know, like B Double O. They have that giant kingdom world. Oh man, those worlds are beautiful, and I really want to emulate that. I don't want to copy it, but I do want to have a large world, somewhat spread out potentially. Um, but like I said, like I want to make like a storage house at some point. I want to make like a smelting house. I want to make a smoking house, you know, just for cooking up your food and whatnot. And then, so a smoker house, I guess. And then I want to make a blast furnace, like smeltery, but I want to do that in my mind. Now, all that may be a attainable, but it, you know, it's, see, I did one of those hiccup things where I just made the noise, but I didn't actually hiccup. See what I mean, guys? It's true. I wasn't lying to you. It happens to me, and I, I don't know if it happens to you guys. I haven't seen the comments from the second episode yet, because I'm recording this before I've uploaded the second episode. So, I mean, I'm curious to see what you guys think about the hiccup noise. The whole hiccup fiasco. We'll, we'll see what you guys think. Uh, This is a big old cave, that's all I gotta say. I know I missed a little bit of iron there, I'll go and get it. I want to leave the water, though, you know, all natural in this world. We're gonna leave the water at least right here deeper underground I'll, I'll make sure to get it but hopefully this cave goes down deep deep below that would be uh that would be the best case scenario it's always good to find these big holes because they have so much exposed ore like there's two more pockets of iron ore i already see um just on the wall over there there's one oh there's one right above me i shouldn't miss the obvious one the one that's right in front of my eyes what kind of miner would i be if i missed that and then let's go over here, and we will grab this one. See, I said I wouldn't use 43 torches, but look who's already used this many torches. I've already used over half my torches. I'm not going to get that coal pocket. You know what? We're going we're gonna to live, live young, die free. That's the saying, right? Live free, die young? Die young, live free? I don't know. I don't know what it is. But I will get this iron. I'll get the coal. You know what? Whatever. Is it a big pocket? Yeah, it is. I'll be back. And then we'll just uh, film the satisfying part of picking everything up off the ground. So, luckily for us, iron pockets aren't too big. So, they're never a pain to mine. And it always feels good to mine it because we can get a full set of iron armor now. Um, and then some iron tools to last us for a good bit. I think a full set of armor is 27 or 28 of whatever material it is. I think. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe 22, 25. That's like the first first creeper I think I've seen. At least in a long time. I don't know why, but this world seems to be uh, devoid of all hostile mobs, which I know isn't true, but I haven't really seen that many. And we are playing on normal difficulty, so it's not too bad. Some people said, Neo, it'd be more interesting if you maybe played on hard or something like that. Uh, well, I don't disagree. I think that normal's better just because, I, like, I, I, if I didn't have, I don't have food, right? So if I was playing on hard, I guess I would have had to worry about food sooner, but I don't see that as a negative. I, I don't know. Either way, hold on. I'm going to stop this water flow, like, right here. I said I was going to keep it all natural, but then I got down here, and I'm like, I don't want to deal with it. Oh, this this cave's, this cave's going to be a bop, guys. It's going to be huge. Oh, no. Okay. Don't do it. I have a wooden sword, so this makes it super difficult. What is it? Five hits? Six hits? Man. It's going to break pretty soon, too, which isn't great. You know what? But I'm going to stop here pretty soon. And uh, you know what I'm going to do? what I've wanted to do this whole time how big is this cave okay we'll do it right here then we're going to first of all get rid of that we're going to get rid of that oh that didn't fall in I don't want these things anymore they're they're bad they're they're just bad we don't want them anymore we're gonna make a little impromptu crafting station area here we're gonna make a furnace actually you know what we're gonna make as many furnaces as we can because I don't want to wait 
I'm impatient, so I feel like if I do this, it'll make things a lot quicker. And then I can just make this into four even stacks like this. And then just smelt it all up real quick. So we can get some iron armor going. We don't have food, but at least we have iron armor, right? Um, okay. Let's go mine a little bit more. There can't be too much stuff down here, right? This cave can't be super big, right? Now, if there's a dungeon down here, I will be a very lucky man because I really, really want to do a nice dungeon spawner. Um, they're always good, you know, just for XP, but at the same time, I don't mind making a dark room spawner somewhere up near the, the skybox boundary, but I don't know how efficient they work in 1.15. I really don't. Used to, they were really good, uh, but as of late versions, I don't think they work too well. Is that already gold? Yeah, we've already found gold. Interesting. Okay. I did not expect that. I'll be honest. I did not think we were that deep. We're, oh, we're already at level 24? Dude, I don't want to find diamonds this early, though. That's one thing. I, we're only on the third episode. I said I wanted to take things slow. Taking things slow includes not inclu includes not getting diamonds in, like, the third episode. Uh, there's a creepy crawly. I can't deal with that because I don't have any weapons, but I'll have a weapon pretty soon. Uh, we can go ahead and make the tools, and then we'll use the rest for armor. Okay. First of all, we're going to need a couple sticks. Let's do a sword. Probably the best idea I've had so far is to make this sword because, man, we don't have a sword, and that's just not good. We'll make another iron pickaxe because this one's going to run out before too long. And then we'll go ahead and just do the armor, too. So we don't really need anything else yet. Yeah. So I, I wasn't counting the iron, but obviously it's more than what we had. I should have counted it. That way I could figure it out. You guys, I know, will tell me in the comments. You guys are super nice. And by the way, if you're still watching uh, this... Uh, if you're still watching this episode, you should totally enter the secret code I'm going to give you down in the comments below, just so that you know, and I know, that you've watched up until this point. It's mainly for me to see what audience retention is, but it's also cool because I'll leave a heart and you guys can have your own special club down in the comments, but the code is going to be 1733. So if you remember the last code, it's the opposite of that one. Pretty sneaky, huh? Uh, but yeah, 1733. Just go ahead and type it down in the comments below. You don't have to, of course, but if you want to show me that you've watched up until this point, I would be very appreciative. Maybe I'll say hi to you in the comments. We'll see. Never know. Um, but yeah, I just I do things like that. It, it, it does help my videos out if you leave the comment. So if you're a lurker and you haven't really left comments on videos before, you can just leave that, and I'll uh, give you a heart. And your first ever comment on YouTube will have its very own heart from me. I do those all by hand whenever I have a chance. Whether it's during class, when I shouldn't be doing it, or it's sitting on the couch watching TV, whatever the case may be, I will leave you a heart. Again, it's 1733 if you want to. I won't, I won't bug you guys anymore about that. I'm not going to be asking for any number of likes on this series either. I'm trying to just keep it clean. We're just playing Minecraft. I will talk about the channel a little bit, um, but I don't want to annoy you guys too much. <gasps> Spooky noise. It's a good segue into my next topic. How are we already so deep? Okay, that hole, I mean, that, that was a big hole, but I'm, I'm glad that we have a big cave system near our house, but it's going to be depleted pretty soon. I mean, there's not much. I took one little branch, and it's turned into this giant area, so hopefully the other branches are just as fruitful, and they go down even deeper. I mean, you can't go much deeper than layer 20. I mean, you can, I've seen some caves that are down at layer 11, but they're, you know, those lava-filled caves, which we should make. Oh, that's what we should do. I left the crafting table, but I'll go back and get it because I need to make a bucket to get some water. I haven't found any water sources that aren't that one that made the pretty uh, whole waterfall thingy. But maybe we'll find one over here somewhere. Some water. That's all I need is a little bit of water. Just so that when we find lava, we're prepared. I'll go ahead and mine that up too. There's no point in leaving it. I really do need food. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. -y. Look what we found. That's a very, very good thing to find. Only, not only because of the loot, uh, but because there could be a cave spider spawner in here. Now you're thinking, Neo, why would you ever want to deal with a cave spider spawner? Oh, this is so big. Okay. Well, where's the zombie? Okay. Are you, are you? Where are you, dude? Are you right down here? No? Okay. 
It's also nice when you find these underground, like when you're stuck and you need wood, because, well, they have wood. It's the only thing underground that'll provide you with a steady stream of oak. And uh, if you really, really need it, it's helpful in a pinch, right? If you need to make some torches. Um, actually, you know what? Torches aren't something... Well, yeah, torches, because you need sticks. I was thinking, but it's also helpful if you don't have a crafting table with you to find one of those, because, man, you can really save yourself a lot of trouble. All right, let's explore this bad boy a little bit. Um, I may want to save some of it for the future. I really don't know, because I did say this is going to be the, the, the exploring episode. And that first mining session is always a little slow, but it's kind of fun just to make a little bit of progress. Look, I'm going to cheat the AI. He's going to come over here. His pathfinding is like, oh, I can't see him anymore. I need to get in right. Oh, I'm, did I make the? Okay, I did put on the armor. I'm so, I, I, I was like, why am I low on hearts? But then I realized I don't have any food. Okay, this is a really, really nice cave. Where did that zombie go? Where did that skeleton go? I know I killed the zombie. I meant to say skeleton. Where did the skeleton go? It was over here. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> What's the zombie sound like? Hey, Mojang, hire me. I'll, I'll make your new sound pack. I'll make, I'll make zombie noises, and I'll do it for free, just to, just just for the clout. They could be like, you know, Neo's that guy who made the zombie noises in the new Minecraft update, and you're like, oh, he did. Wow, so prestigious. You can make zombie noises? No way, dude. I'm trying to. Oh, baby zombies. That's what ends every hardcore player's career, because they're so fast. They're so fast. Man, this cave is too big. I don't have any food. And I, while I really want to mine, I'm already getting to a dangerous point. We have four hearts, so two zombie hits, maybe three could kill us. So maybe we should go back up. I know that's not what you want to hear, but we got to get some sort of food. We don't have any food at all. Um, I'll go ahead and mine this. I'll go explore down there, too. Maybe there's something good. I will be collecting every ore I see. That's something I usually don't do. Uh, maybe eventually I'll quit, but like redstone is something that I've never really gotten into too much. And I want to change that this series. You know, I'm not too good with redstone, but I can learn. You know, like everyone else, everyone's got to start somewhere. Not everyone, you know, started off like Mumbo Jumbo and, you know, is a god with redstone. But eventually, maybe I could be Mumbo Jumbo Jr. Probably not. Actually, you know what? Never. But I can try, right? That's that's the beauty of it. I can try all I want and probably fail. There we go. That that that's how I should do these coal pockets. Just fill in the good part, picking it up. This cobblestone's weird here, but I think it was because there was water at some point. I'm not gonna question it. Oh man, I need to quit seeing ores because I really want to get everything. But I know that I need to go back up because if I get if I get hit by a zombie and a skeleton at the same time, I'm done. And I'm gonna die down here. I know I, I could probably find my stuff. Uh, we haven't traversed too far into this thing. Uh, I, I say that, and I really hope I can get back. Yeah, it's just right here. So I'm going to make a little pillar to show that this is where the entrance is. And then I'm just going to go. Because as much as I want to be in there, I don't want to be in there. And we'll make like a cobblestone path, just so we can remember where this is. Okay, this is really easy to find. Okay. Well, we got super lucky. This is also one of those big, big circular rooms in here. And that's where the zombie is hiding. All right, let's get out of here because I don't want to die. I will make this cave look fancy at some point. We'll put like a bunch of wood in it, like a bunch of paths down, sort of how we started up there, uh, but just expanded, maybe with a little bit of fence below it to make it look like it's supported. But for now, we need to work on food. And to get food, we need to build our, uh, we're, we need to build our farm in a greenhouse. And now you're, you're probably wondering, Neo, why? Why? Well. We're in a snowy biome, a very cold area, um, and typically you can't grow crops in the cold, you know, unless you're Russian. You, you can grow potatoes because they grow underground, but they do grow underground, right? They're like a root, I think. I don't know. But we'll go get a bunch, and I mean a bunch of sand. Uh, we already have some glass smelted, but not nearly enough. We're also going to need some wood. I want to make this greenhouse look really good. Um, I haven't really built a greenhouse in a long time, so hopefully I can make it look good. Uh, the back of my house, I said I want to make a farm, um, but I'm not so sure that that's what I want to do. I really don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We're just going to play it by ear. I don't want to make any solid plans and then not go through with them, uh, but that is a possibility that we will use that as a farm. Not saying it won't happen, not saying it will. Well, let's get all this sand here, and then we'll go smelt it up, and uh, we should be good. 
Of course, the second I start farming some material, it has to start becoming night. So that's just that's just how it goes, guys. That's just how it goes. Uh, we'll block that off with some cobblestone. No one, uh, no, no, people will be none the wiser. Is that is that how you say that phrase? Because I always want to say that phrase and it comes out wrong. If you're gonna say none the wiser, people will be none the wiser, right? Like, like, is that how you say it? I don't know. Some of you English majors, you should chime in here. If if you're you know, I feel like a lot of people that watch aren't in college, uh, probably high school. Um, but if anyone out there is an English major, let me know in the comments. Enter that secret code 1733 just so I know you're a real fan. And uh, let me know like if, if I'm using that phrasing right. None, none none the wiser. I'm trying to I'm trying to learn how to use that. I'm really bad with words. Um, I can talk a lot and I can just just ramble on for hours, but sometimes I say things and they're just wrong. If you guys have watched Trailer Park Boys, it's kind of like Ricky. I, I won't say that, not necessarily like that, but you know all the phrases he says that are just completely wrong? It's like that. Not the words. The words I'm okay with sometimes. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't say that because I'm not very good with words either. Oh, man. The struggle of being myself. Everyone has their own internal struggles. Everyone, you know, no one's perfect. Like, you, 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 may, you may look at me and you're like, oh, he's a YouTuber. He has it good. I mean, I do in that factor. Like, like, or in that aspect, like, yeah, I'm lucky to be able to do this for a job, but I'm still just another person like you, and I'm just, I'm, I have many flaws just like you, I'm not perfect, I'm not some crazy person, I'm just, I'm just a normal guy, and I've, I've done this so long that I grew, and th that's the only reason I grew, it's not because I'm super good at Minecraft, or I'm super good at anything in, in particular, I've just, I've been consistent with it. And I think that applies to pretty much anything you want to do. If you want to get good at something, you just got to be consistent. You got to keep going. I was terrible at commentating for years. I'm still not that great, as I'm trying to say. You know, I'm trying to, I can't even figure out how to use the phrase none the wiser. So, if that's any inclination into how good I am, um, so be it. I'm going to kill this Enderman. I know it's really dark. Maybe kind of dark. I don't know. Uh, maybe I should make one of those Enderman huts. Yeah, because I have 8 HP. So I'm going to make one of these. And of course, the second I start to make one of these, like seven zombies are like, oh, what's up, my guy? What are you doing? Enderman, if you disappear, I'm going to be very sad. Okay. And then we will just, okay. We're going to look directly at him. We're going to stand under this thing. He can't get to me, right? Yeah. No? Okay. How'd you get to me, dude? No, how'd you get to me, man? I made a, oh, no. Your missing bed was obstructed. Uh, okay. Okay. I think I remember. Now we made a boat. We made a boat and we went off and we sailed. We we made a boat. We There's my bonus chest. Thank God. Okay. Well, you guys were bugging me. You're like, "Neo, you didn't get your bonus chest." I'm like, "Yeah, I know. I forgot." You embarrassed me. I you didn't embarrass me. I just completely forgot about it. But we need to get this and we need to hurry because I don't want to lose all my stuff. That would not be great. Also a thing there. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. All right, let's get back home. Not great that we died. I, I thought that I had a bed, but well, I did have a bed, but I moved it, and I hadn't slept in it, and I forgot the, f the fact that I hadn't slept in it yet, so uh, I think it's just directly this direction. I hope at least if it's not, well, we're kind of we're kind of screwed here, but I think I can get my stuff. I'm not going to worry too much. <gasps> not going to worry too much. See, I have one of those hiccup things, and I don't know why, because um, most people I know, they don't hiccup as often as I do. I think it's because I'm talking so much, and I haven't really talked to anyone today, or I haven't really talked today at all. You know, just because I was sitting in my sitting in my car for like an hour waiting for class, trying to get a good parking spot, and I walk into class, it's like, hey, your professor's not here, he's stuck out of the country. Um, he's having some trouble getting back in, so he'll be here next week, and I'm like, good to know. He's like, sign the attendance sheet, and you're, you're gone. Okay, what's up? What's up, skelly, skelly buddy? I really hope it's this direction. And I... Yeah, it is. I see snow. Or is that sand? Uh, snow. I see snow. I really hope it's not too dark. Yeah, there's the igloo that we started with. And there's our boat, I think. So we'll just get a pile of boats going. I see our house too. Okay, so we're not too far. We just gotta we gotta make the sprint. We gotta make the sprint. We gotta make it fast. I guess one benefit is we now have a little bit of food, more than we had before. <laughs> kind of funny. Uh, oh, okay. I did not see my house. That was a lie. But I know it's in this direction. I mean, what other direction would it be in? So I'm just gonna keep on trucking. This is a beautiful uh, area, though. I really like how it looks. So we could do a lot of cool stuff with this. 
Okay. Man, where is my house? Okay, well, this isn't great. But I think... Nah, it's... Nah, where is it, dude? Ah, oh, come on. We gotta find it. I don't want to lose all that stuff. We just went mining. And it really wouldn't be too great if we just lost all of that. But, you know what? If it happens, it happens. It's not that big of a deal. Is that my house? That's my house. Okay. So we weren't too far off. It's just over here in the corner. There we go. Oh, thank God. It's always good to start seeing a little bit of light. You're like, oh, thank God. I didn't lose all my stuff. I At least I don't think so. I'm trying to run over there as fast as I can. Come on. Oh, okay. Not going to deal with that noise. We don't need that. There's ice here, which is actually like a super highway. Okay. Perfect. I'm really lucky we have ice here. It really does make it faster. At least I think so. Okay, so we died like right out here. Hopefully the Enderman's still there. I really just wanted to get an Ender Pearl. You know, just, just trying to future-proof a little bit. Let's go grab all this stuff before it despawns. I can't believe I actually made it back home. I, I, I definitely thought I was going to lose all my stuff. But, you know what? Okay. Armor. Okay. Where's my sword? Where's my sword? There it is. Okay. Dude. Get out of here. We don't need... We don't need the... We don't need you. Um, I need to just start dropping... Okay, there we go. Am I missing anything important? I don't really need a stone pickaxe or a wood axe. That's definitely not something I need. Where are the rest of my stuff? There we go. Okay, and then torches. I'm sorry for all the darkness. And I hope that... Oh, wow. That made a spooky noise. We're going to get out of here. We're going to go back home. Which, you know, has a hole in it, so it's not even safe there. But I'm also seeing light over in that direction. Do you guys see that? Hold on. Let me just check this out. It could be a village, which would be super cool. I did not realize that it's night. I just started running. No, I think that's just a lava. A lava pocket. Uh, yeah, just a lava pocket. I just wanted to know. It's good to know. Okay, let's get back home. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I said this episode's going to be all mining. And then look right. Well, I mean, I mined a little bit, to be fair. But now we need to build a greenhouse. I think. I mean, I don't know what else we'd build. Um, definitely a greenhouse. We'll smelt up this salmon, too. I need to put some, like, railing on this bridge. It's kind of dangerous just to have an open bridge like that. Is there anything in my home? No. Not that I can see. We're going to sleep in the new bed, though. This is the new location that I put it in. I've made a nice rec recessed little, little cranny for my uh, bed. Uh, but I stupidly, I didn't really, uh, I stupidly didn't sleep in it before I left. And we'll put some torches up here. Uh, sure. Why not? And then probably, like, a torch and a torch. And then maybe two torches. Now, eventually we'll have beds. Or not. We'll have lanterns in here. I don't want to just stick with these. Should I save this? Well, I guess that, I guess I had, I have my answer. I should not save that person. It's technically a person, right? Because it's like a zombie villager, sort of. Um, one thing we do need is more furnaces, but we actually have more. So that's perfect. So we'll start smelting up this stuff. Yeah, I know it's way too much coal, but it's okay. We have an excess of coal, so I'm not going to not gonna worry about that. All right, good. So we do have a little bit of food, but not enough to keep exploring. We can start a carrot farm, it looks like. Yeah, carrot farm. We don't have any potatoes or anything, so maybe we can get lucky and find a potato. Uh, we'll put up our carrot. We'll keep the apple, though. We really do need the apple. We don't have any wood. Or, uh, any food. Sorry. Let's throw this stuff down. Oh. Let's throw this stuff down here. And then this... One of these chests was supposed to be my rare chest. I think it was this one, but I, for some reason, filled it with glass. So, we'll put that into here. Where did I put the rest of my sand? Okay, there we go. Let's start smelting the sand for the greenhouse. Um, which I can use some of this excess coal in here because we don't need that much. We also don't need that much. We do, however, need eight for this whole stack. This is already done, so we can just plop it in there. Take our cooked salmon and uh, finally fix our inventory because this is a little bit a little jumbled right now. I think I'm just going to get rid of this shovel. Just like mine a couple of blocks. We're just repeatedly mine the same block. There we go. And, uh, yeah, we probably should finish the back of our house, but I'll get, I'll get to it. I, I'm not going to, like, just leave it open, I promise. Eventually, I will get to it. I assure you. 
Um, I'm just taking it slow. Somewhat. Or I'm getting lazy. One of the two. You'll never know. You'll just never know. Okay, there's enough food for us. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a little plan for this back half and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, you know what? This video is already 30 minutes long, so I'm not gonna work on the house anymore this episode. What I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna go mine some more. And probably not the best idea, but when it, when have I been known for doing the, the best ideas? I'm gonna do what's fun, right? I love getting materials out and like laying out exactly what it's gonna be. I'll, oh, okay, I forgot to click the, forgot to click the button that actually makes the tool. But I, you know what? I, I got close. I got close. And that, and that counts for something, right? Uh, but yeah, this this <laughs> this cave is, is very big. And it, it makes for a good thumbnail, too. You probably saw it on the thumbnail. And you're like, oh, man. Oh, I, I, bet he, I bet he explores this, this giant crevice in his world. And I do. That was actually pretty sick. I didn't take any fall damage getting down. So I'm not going to explore the mine shaft because I know that's going to be just giant. Um, I will, however, oh, I didn't bring any wood. Okay, well, we have to go to the mine shaft at some point because we're about to run out of torches. Only got 30. Uh, but I'll go down and we'll get... And the reason I wanted to mine is I have a little bit of food. Granted, not a lot, but a little bit. Um, and you know what? We've already been filming for 30 minutes, so I'm not going to cut out any like veins unless they get extremely large. Just because most of the people that started watching have left. There's probably like 3 or 4% of you who are still watching up until this point. Most people don't watch the whole video. About, uh, I think like half of half of the people who click on the video leave after like 3 minutes or so. That's why like average viewer retention is like... Actually no, my average viewer retention is like 7 minutes. But people are usually gone pretty soon. And why do I keep getting... I get so many spam calls. It's because someone messed with me a long time ago who knew me in real life, and I still I still pay for it today. You know, some people are just some people are just crazy. They 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 they, they want to hate on the Minecraft guys. They want to hate on the Minecraft. You know, somehow I've made enemies doing what I do. Don't ask me how, because I haven't done anything like bad. I really haven't. All I do is play Minecraft. Oh man, it's a struggle, guys. It's a struggle. Hopefully this is enough coal though to last us for a good bit. I really hope it is. If it's not, then I'll go get more. But at some point I'll stop. I know I said I'm gonna get every ore, and now I'm talking about like, well, I might not. Did I just get another call, dude? You guys need to chill, these spam callers. You get, do you guys get a lot of spam calls? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're still watching, enter that code one seven three three. And also let me know. Do you get a lot of spam calls? I'm curious. And tell you don't have to you don't have to tell me like your phone number, but tell me if you're getting a lot of spam calls. I get a lot of spam calls. Oh, ah! jeez, you guys chill. Like why you got to make those coordinated attacks like that? That was a front and back creeper explosion extravaganza. What was that? Got a creeper fall on me. It's like really you got to wait just to, just to like oh my friend exploded. I'm gonna go try to blow him up too. <laughs> Oh man, why do they do that, dude? They always—it it still scares me. It's like because I know that there's a good chance that that it'll kill me, so it makes me just kind of makes me kind of make noises, and I don't know why. Because I know I'm not gonna die with iron armor, but it's still scary for some reason. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. I really don't. I wish I could record more. I just don't have enough time to make another episode, and I really wish I did, because I'm in a great mood. And I like recording this series. I don't know why. I think it's just because it did so well. Like, I'll be honest. When, when a series does really well, like, off the bat, it's still not doing as well as my older videos did, like, back in the summer, last summer. Um, but I don't think it'll ever be like that again. I think that's just because of PewDiePie playing it. And that brought a lot of attention back to Minecraft. Uh, but things are still going from the little, uh, little influx of people he got interested in the game again. So... That's good, and I'm sure some, you can tell me in the comments. I don't care if you came because uh, the new adventure, sorry, not the new adventure update. Oh, man, don't get me started. The adventure update, 1.18, or sorry, one. it was version 1.8, and that was the, the update that had villages, uh, mine shafts, and ravines, and man, that took forever to come out. That took, like, uh, it was way over a year, and I remember there was some big controversy about it. I don't remember exactly, but it, it just really sucked. Like, like, the villagers did absolutely nothing. They just sat there and went, huh? Huh? Oh. Huh? That's all they did. You couldn't trade with them, couldn't interact with them. You could kill them, but that's 
pretty much the end of your interaction with a villager. Uh, pre 1.8 update. Or pre whenever they added trading. I don't remember when it was. And again, they may have had trading, but it didn't really work as far as I remember. I don't know. There's been so many Minecraft versions now that I cannot keep track of everything. I used to be good about it, but there's a point where you just see these updates and you're like, oh, okay, nice. Sounds good. The newest update, 1.14, was awesome. I love that. It had so much stuff. Ba <gasps> Barrels, um, other stuff, lanterns. What else did it add? Stone slabs, a bunch of building blocks. Which, you know, for, for myself, since I like building, is, is a huge positive. I'm, I'm kind of kind of being cheap here and just sitting up here, but I really don't want to go down there next to lava. This many zombies could also be indicative of a potential zombie spawner. So we'll see. Could just be a random coincidence. Okay, there's falling gravel there. I'm not going to mess with that. Oh! <laughs> well, there could be diamonds. Okay, you're not going to... No, you, get, you stay away from my diamonds. You stay away from my diamonds, dude. You get out of here. You stay away. Is there anything else that's going to try to kill me? No. I said I didn't want to get diamonds in the third episode. And this looks like a maximum pocket, too. Yes, it is. <laughs> it always feels good. The first diamonds you get in the world, no matter no matter how long you've played the game, diamonds always feel good. I don't know why. I guess it's just ingrained in your head that they're rare and you should always collect them. But we're also out of torches, so I think it's a good place to end the episode. End it with diamonds. Everyone leave a like down there for diamonds. And I know I said I'm not going to ask for likes. I just said I'm not going to ask for any number of likes, to be fair. So if you want to leave a like, do it. If you don't want to leave a like, don't do it. But I would appreciate it if you did. Because it does take effort to make these videos, albeit not a lot. <laughs> but it does take some. And, uh, you know, if you want to support me, encourage me to keep going. Keep watching my videos. If you don't want to... if and Honestly, though, if you did dislike the video, please, please do not lie to yourself. Leave me a dislike. But let me know in the comment section why you left that dislike. So that I can hope to improve in the future and earn a like from you. And I say that in every video because I mean it genuinely. If you didn't enjoy it, like just leave me a dislike. It's not its not going to hurt my feelings. It's not going to hurt the video or anything. In fact, it actually helps the video just as much as the like does. It just shows user interaction, which is good. Um, and YouTube looks at that in their algorithm. But anyways, besides the point, that's not why I'm saying you should leave a dislike if you did dislike it. I want to know why you disliked it so that I can become a better content creator for you. Because if I don't make good content, then what am I? Because that's, that's my job, to make content. So... Let me know if you have any suggestions, any ideas you want to see. Next episode will be the greenhouse episode. Um, I plan on making it pretty big. Um, this is kind of my starter area, so it's not going to be super huge. I'm also not going to use the diamonds off the bat. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna already be into diamonds this early on. That's just. That's just too easy. How we found those, I'm not sure, but we definitely got lucky. Anyways, thank you guys for watching episode three. I will see you in episode four very soon. All right. Bye, guys.